the case is solved. After the Quantum Kong of Ant-Man 3 is absorbed by the Energy Ball, it turned out that after crossing into the Quiddy universe, Killmonger was found to be the first. He has ruled the universe and married the female warrior god. Kong was not convinced, so he launched a challenge. No kidding, more than four years have passed. Quiddy 3, the third work of Quiddy series. It's also called, Golden Boxer 3. This time Quiddy's opponent is his childhood friend Damian Anderson, played by Jonathan Majors. I believe you can hardly recognize Kong. Jonathan Maggers is in the MCU. This is the case in Quiddy 3, and that's what happens outside the theater. Are you swallowing? Quiddy in 2015 is a derivative film of Rocky series, good reputation in box office, and Stallone was also shortlisted for Best Supporting Actor at the next year's Oscar for Quiddy. You know, Stallone became famous overnight because of the Rocky series. The 1976 Rocky cost only US $1 million, 225 million won box office, and won the Oscar for Best Picture, Best Director and Best Editor. Do you dare to think, watching the film, Rocky, today, can still be moved by how the little characters struggle and persevere in the predicament? Well, today is not about Rocky series. In 2018 Quiddy 2, Stallone said to Quiddy, now is your time. It's a declaration that the Quiddy series will be completely separated from the Rocky series. The same is true of Quiddy 3 without Stallone. Michael B. Jordan, the leading actor, will direct this time. This is also his first time as a director. My first impression is that the film is very complete. Maybe the action guidance of boxing in the film is very helpful. But as a new director, Quiddy 3 inches gave excellent answers. We can see the score of Tomatoes, whether professional or public. All performed well. The story background and role relationship of Quiddy 3 continue the first two. Quiddy has won several important boxing matches in his life and has been defending his title. A wife, a daughter, money, a safe winner in life. Quiddy also retired from the fight to cultivate the next generation of boxing champion. Just when Quiddy enjoyed watching the peak of fame and fortune, Damien, a childhood friend, found Quiddy. Damien is older than Quidition. Used to be a popular seed in underground boxing, with unbeaten record. But I was in prison for 10 years because of something related to Quiddy. Quiddy tried to find the forgotten brother again. Damien said coach, I wanna play. Sorry for acting, Damien, in order to fulfill his dream. He wants to be the champion. So he asked Quiddy, who had already succeeded, to help him, and Quiddy agreed. But, the matter is far from as simple as Quiddy thought, so the story begins. As a series that can continue to fight, it is not surprising that each film has a new storyline and new opponents. Sports and competitive films. The game attribute of the film itself is explosive adrenaline and strong dramatic tension. So the boxing scene that the audience of Quiddy 3 inches is most concerned about. The film is a powerful blow. We can see Michael B. Jordan and Jonathan Majors. The two men just looked at many pictures of the flesh and tendons on their shoulders. In several boxing matches, the film boldly uses many panoramic images. Let's see the reality of the boxing match. It also uses high-speed camera shooting to display key decisive actions. Those pictures with distorted faces. If it's not CG effect, the actor must have suffered a strong and real blow to increase the visual effect of fighting at the end of the film the two men dueled on the challenge arena it also uses a presentation way similar to mind to war this is also a kind of creativity in the presentation of the plot the commercial film has at least achieved a smooth positioning of the plot and the reversal in the middle is really surprising but maybe it's not just a boxing film full of male hormones straight men have outstanding personality so in many plot settings it will be more straightforward next it will involve deeper spoilers to explain if you really care you can collect videos and watch them before before coming back. Quiddy 3 has a slogan, your past is your strongest enemy. Quiddy actually has a childhood story that she has never wanted to mention. When Quiddy and Damien were both children, they lived in a juvenile shelter. The children there are always more mischievous, but their administrator Leon is cruel to them. Because of this experience, let Quiddy and Damien see each other as blood brothers. Damien likes boxing and plays very well. He always takes his younger brother Quiddy with him. One night, they fight and go home. Quiddy accidentally met Leon who had bullied them on the way. Quiddy is completely out of control. Leon's friend quickly arrived and caught Quiddy. In the chaos, Mian escapes from his gun and wants to save Quiddy. By chance, the police arrived and caught the only Damien with a gun. But little Quiddy, who had never seen such a big battle, was scared and ran away. Damien, who was arrested, later went to prison for more than 10 years. In these years, Quiddy was not tried to contact Damien, but chose to escape and forget this unbearable memory. When Damien came back to find Quiddy, guilt and unbearable rolled in Quiddy's heart. When Darian needed Quiddy's help, Quiddy, who was already a successful man, agreed. After that, Damien also completed his own self-identification and got the gold belt of the champion. But, things have reversed. Darian played the gold medal apprentice trained by Quiddy and is also the current boxing champion. Originally, Quiddy wanted to give Damien a chance, so that Darian's dream of boxing champion could die, but Darian did it. What's worse, Damien didn't forgive Quiddy for fleeing the scene, and do not contact after. So Damien made a trap to finish the revenge on Quiddy. Quiddy, who has retired for many years, has to rise again. They challenged Damien and the duel between them began. Finally, of course, Quiddy won over Quiddy's childhood heart 
whatnot, after a fight with Damien. Finally, resolve it in the conversation in the lounge. They are still good brothers. Here is the general plot, but in fact, the interaction between them is more complex. You may think that Quiddy is not loyal enough to do this. Yes, but the film explains. Although the strength is not enough, we can still pass the test. The conclusion is that little Quiddy was scared because he was too young. Damien volunteered to take out the gun. In fact, the turning point of the whole movie plot and the reversal of the characters. It's like you're sitting on a super running turn at high speed and directly flinging your tail. It won't give you too much time to digest, I just don't want you to think about the rationality. For example, at the end of the duel between Damien and Quiddy, we can feel it. Damien didn't want Quiddy to lose the game. Damien finally forgives Quiddy for leaving without saying goodbye. Still treat Quiddy as his own family, etc. This ending will be analyzed at the beginning of the film. I think that, two brothers, everything can be settled through negotiation. Why should two people fight on the challenge arena? So this leads to another point. That is, all the characters' motives and plot settings in the film are for boxing service. In order to bring an unprecedented confrontation to the audience, only in this traditional primitive man duel way, only then can we resolve the past guilt and resentment between the two people and really put it down. This is also a kind of rigid romance between men. After a fight, their feelings return to the same as before. But in fact, there are many places in the plot that can be more natural. There are many plots that I think need to be focused on, but they are not shown too much. On the contrary, the chapter of Katie's father-daughter family seems to have nothing to do with the main line. If we can use these parts more when Quiddy and Damien were young, more able to shape the two more three-dimensional, although such a more formulaic script, under the interaction of Michael B. Young Jordan and Jonathan Mages, they acted very well. Their acting skills were excellent. What's more, the image of a muscular man pushes the whole story to the climax. When you see two tough men ready to shake their heads in the arena, in order to create the plot of two people fighting, is not so important. And the whole film is driven by both boxing and plot. The rhythm and arrangement are very good. When to set suspense, when to turn around and when someone needs to die, when to sublimate the family emotion. The films have been accurately calculated and designed. In general, Michael B. Jordan's first film, Quiddy 3. The answer is excellent. He magnified his field of expertise, grasped the mood of the audience and have a high degree of completion. This is the most needed indicator for a commercial director. If you like sports, like boxing, Quiddy 3 is really not to be missed. Finally, let's finish the video with the eggs. At the time of the premiere of Quiddy 3, a network celebrity host stopped Michael B. Jordan halfway. Trying to get close to them, Michael recognized her, but Michael didn't give her a good face, because this classmate bullied Michael before. He said that he was very vulgar at that time, and it was embarrassing to buy interviews. And you know, we know each other, Chad Science in Newark, okay? <laughs> no, <laughs> I did not say that, sure. So I said we used to make fun of the name. Later, the host explained, Michael B. Jordan's name was ridiculed, because a basketball superstar is Michael Jordan. This time is different from the past. It's better not to laugh at others. That's it today.